Hi guys! Today we will discuss the contents of the lesson 40 of the Manabo Online Textbook. We have separate videos on our YouTube channel of the grammar lessons. So please check them out for you to understand more about this lesson. So let's get started. Lesson 40, Sentence Patterns. Let's read sentence pattern number 1. JL Ichizero Nana Binwa Nanjini Tochaku Suruka Shirabete Kodasai. This sentence pattern is using a question with an interrogative as a component of another sentence. So just like in this sentence, the JL Ichizero Nana Binwa, the flight JL 107. Nanjini. So this is the interrogative. This is a question that has an interrogative. In this case, the interrogative is Nanji, which means what time. Nanjini tochakusuru. So tochakusuru means to arrive. Tochakusuru ka. Then, shirabete kodasai. Please search or please check. What time the flight JL107 arrives? So, a sentence with an interrogative. Sentence pattern number two. Taifu Kyugo wa Tokyo e kuruka doka mada wakarimasen. Now, this sentence pattern is using a question that doesn't have an interrogative as a component of another sentence. And take note that doka is used after the ka. So, in this sentence, kuruka doka. Taifu kyugo wa the typhoon number 9. The typhoon number 9. Tokyo e kuru comes to Tokyo. Or will hit Tokyo. Ka doka. So, in this sense, the ka doka can be translated as whether or not. Ka doka. Mada wakarimasen. We still don't know or they can't tell yet. They still don't know. So the difference between the sentence pattern number one and the sentence pattern number two. The sentence pattern number one is using a question with an interrogative. And the sentence pattern number two using a question without an interrogative as a component of another sentence. Sentence pattern number three. Kono fuku wo kite mite mo ii desu ka? Kono fuku wo kite mite mo ii desu ka? So the pattern used in this sentence is verb te mimas. Verb te mimas. And in this sentence, the verb te mimas is once again conjugated in te form plus mo ii desu ka? So this pattern is used to ask permission to do something. The, mi, the verb te mo ii desu ka? So, kono fuku wo kimas to wear these clothes. Kimas then, kite mimas means try to wear. So, the verb te mimas means try to do an action or try to do something. Verb te mimas. Then, the kite mimas is once again used for the pattern verb te mo i desu ka to ask permission. Kite mite mo i desu ka, can I try this on or can I try these clothes? So if you want to try to do something, you can use the verb te mimas pattern. So now let's look at more example sentences about these sentence patterns. Example sentence number one. Nijikai wa doko e ikimashita ka? Yotte ita no de doko e itta ka zenzen oboite inain desu. So the first sentence, nijikai wa. So, the word nijikai literally means the second party. So for example, you have a party, then after the party, you went to another location. That is called a nijikai. So nijikai wa doko e ikemashita ka? Where did you go? Drinking. Next. Yotte ita no de, because I was drunk. Doko e itta ka? Zenzen oboite inain desu. Doko e itta ka? From the interrogative sentence, doko e ikimashita ka? Where did I went? Doko e itta ka? Then, zengzeng oboite inain desu. I really don't remember. So, I have no idea. So, zengzeng plus a negative verb it means nothing at all. So, zengzeng oboite inain desu. I don't remember anything. 
Dokoe Ittaka, where we went. Example sentence number two. Yamano Takasa wa doyatte hakaru ka shiteimasu ka? Sa, internet de shirabimashou. So, Yamano Takasa. So, the E adjective takai. Takai means tall or high. Now, Takasa. If you add sa to an E adjective like takai, it means the height, the height of the noun, in this case, yama. Yama no takasa, the height of the mountain. Wa doyate hau, doyate hakaru. Hakaru means to measure, hakarimas. Hakaru ka, doyate hakaru ka, shitte imasu ka, do you know? Do you know how to measure the height of the mountain? Sa. So this expression can be translated as I don't know, I don't have any idea. Sa. Internet today shirabi show. Let's search or let's check the internet. Example sentence number three. Watashi tachi ga hajimete atta no wa itsu ka oboite imasu ka? Mokashi no koto na no de mo wasorete shimaimashita. So, watashi tachi ga hajimete atta. So, the place where we first met, atta no wa itsu ka. So, this is the interrogative, itsu plus ka. Oboite imasu ka, do you still remember when we first met? The next sentence, mokashi no koto na no de. So because it's a thing of the past, mukashi no koto, nano de. Mo wa sorete shimaimashita. I already forgot. Example sentence number four. Bonen kai ni shisseki dekiru ka doka, meru de henji o kudasai. Hai, wakarimashita. So, bonen kai ni. Bonen kai means year and party. Particle ni shisseki means Attendance, shuseki, to attend the year-end party. Shuseki dekiru ka doka. Dekiru means you can. Shuseki dekiru ka doka, you can attend or not. Meru de by mail, henji o kudasai. Please reply. Hai, wakarimashita. Understood. Example sentence number five. Daigaku ni dasu shuroi nan desu ga? Machigai ga nai ka douka, mite itadakimasen ka? I desu yo. So, daigaku ni to the university, dasu, to submit. To submit to the university. Shurui, a document to be submitted to the university. Nan desu ga? Machigai ga nai ka douka, if it has a mistake or not. Machigai ga nai ka douka. Mite itadakimasen ka? So asking someone a favor, mite itadakimasen ka? Can you please check it for me? I desu yo, it's fine. Example sentence number six. Nagasaki e itta koto ga arimasu ka? Mada arimasen. Zehi ichido itte mitai desu. So Nagasaki e to Nagasaki. Itta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you been to Nagasaki? Mada arimasen. No, not yet. Zehi. So once again, this expression is expressing your hope. Hope to do something or to experience something. Zehi. Ichido. Once. Itte mitai desu. Once again, the verb teimimas. Expressing want. If you want to do something, the verb teimimas. Itte mitai desu. I want. I really want to go. So now let's watch the conversation video. Sensei, Valentino wa gakko de dou deshou ka? Tomodachi ga dekita ka dou ka? Shinpai nan desu ka? Daijoubo desu yo. Valentino kun wa koraso de totemo ninki ga arimasu. So desu ka. Anshin shimashita. Benke wa dou desu ka? Kanji wa taihen da to itte imasu ga. Mainichi kanji no testo o shite imasu ga, Valentino-kun wa ii seiseiki desu yo. Sou desu ka. 
ありがとうございますところでもうすぐ運動会ですがお父さんもいらっしゃいますかええバレンティーノ君が学校でどんな様子かぜひ見てくださいわかりましたこれからもよろしくお願いしますレッスン40エクササイズ A レッツリードナンバーワンどんな問題が試験に出るかわかりませんわかりません I don't know what problems or what kind of problems will come out of the exam どんな問題 what kind of problems が試験に出る will come out of the exam わかりません next line 何時に試験が始まるかわかりません I don't know what time so 何時に what time the exam will start next line どうしてこの答えが正しいかわかりません why どうしてそうわかりません。I don't know why this answer is correct. どうして why? この答えが正しいか。This answer is correct. Then, わかりません。Next line. どれが正しい答えかわかりません。どれ which one? どれが正しい答え Which one is the correct answer? かわかりません。I don't know which one is the correct answer. Answer. So look at these examples. They have interrogatives. Now let's proceed to number two. These are questions without interrogatives. First line, kaigi shitsu ga tsukairo ka dou ka? Tashikamete kudasai. Kaigi shitsu ga tsukairo ka? The meeting room can be used. Dou ka? Tsukairo ka dou ka? Can be used or not? Tashkamite kodasai. Please confirm. Tashkamite kodasai. You ganai ka doka. Tashkamite kodasai. Please confirm if there is a hot water. You ganai. There is no hot water. Ka doka. So whether it there is a hot water or not. Tashkamite kodasai. Next line. Nimutsu ga tsuita ka doka. Tashkamite kodasai. Nimutsu is a package or luggage. Nimutsu ga tsuita ka doka. Tashkamite kodasai. Please confirm if the package has arrived. Nimutsu ga tsuita ka doka. If the package has arrived or not. Next line. Sono hanashi wa honto ka doka. Tashkamite kodasai. So please confirm if that story is true or not. Honto ka doka. It's true or not. Or not. Number three. Kono kutsu hai te mimas. So once again, the verb te mimas means try to do the verb. Try to do an action. So from the verb hakimas. Hakimas means to put on shoes, slippers, or anything on your foot. Hakimas. Then the te form of hakimas is hai te plus mimas. Try to put on. I will try to put on these shoes. Next line. Sensei ni kite mimas. From the verb kikimas to ask, I will try to ask sensei. Next line. Nihongo de setsumei shite mimas. From the verb setsumei shimas to explain, setsumei shite mimas. I will try to explain nihongo de in Japanese. So that's all for this lesson guys. Make sure to watch our grammar lesson videos on our YouTube channel for you to understand more about today's lesson. So see you guys again next time. Matane!